There is a way to get a free Tesla Roadster. It's not a scam. I promise it's not a scam. There is definitely, definitively a way that you can get yourself a free Tesla Roadster. That doesn't mean that it's easy. That doesn't mean that it's possible for nearly anybody to do, but there is a way. All right, listen. <laughs> Listen to me. Hang on. Listen to me. Look at me in the eyes. You're not looking me in the eyes. You need to look me in the eyes. I haven't even said what it is, but look, look at me. <laughs> hang on a second. You're not, you're already not believing me. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, don't, hang on. Shush, 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 you pretty butterfly. All right, listen. There is a way through the referral program of Tesla, you can <laughs> All right, shut up, shut up. I'm not done. You can, if you, if you, if you, you, not me, if you, if you, not me, if you refer someone 50 times to buy a Tesla, then you get a free, you get a free roaster. Maybe it's 50 times. I'm not sure if it's 50 times or now it's like 200 times. I have no idea what, but listen to me when I'm saying this. Okay, I, just because I'm putting my referral link, just because I'm putting my referral link in the description below does not mean that I'm trying to use this as some kind of advertising thing. That's not what this is about. Hang on, this is not what this is about. You guys know me, right? You know me, you know this guy, right? You know me, I wouldn't do that. All right, listen, okay. Just because the referral code MARK2702 is my referral code, and that's the code that if you use that code, and when you're buying your Tesla, you know, when you just do that casually, if you if you wanted to. It's like filling out a survey for like a employee at a customer service thing. You fill out a survey, you put in their code. If you buy your Tesla, you fill in my code, MARK2702. I would like to mention, I am not being paid in any way, shape, or form by Tesla. If anything, I think Tesla would not like me to say anything at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure that everything I'm saying is more damaging than could ever be helpful. So, no, they're not paying. This is not a brand deal. This is not sponsored in any way. But I'm going to talk anyway because I've got things to say. And I have an overinflated feeling of self-importance. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. Mark 2702. Mark 2702. <laughs> Listen, Mark 2702, I just wanted to be honest with you, Mark 2702. I just wanted to be level with you, Mark 2702. I wanted to be really, really thoroughly honest with you guys, Mark 2702. I personally have had a Tesla for about two years now. I am not a sports car guy. I was never a sports car guy. I drove a uh, Ford Fusion Hybrid. I drove, I drove a 99 Corolla forever. I drove uh, a cheap Honda Civic. And then I drove a Ford Fusion Hybrid, and I've never been the type that was like, I wanted a fancy car. I don't want a fancy car. I, if you want to see me in a fancy car, uh, I rode with uh, Captain Sparkles, also known as Jordan, uh, in his fancy car, and it scared the dickens out of me. But I like what Tesla tries to do. I like the ambition that they have. I like the mission statement that they have, which is to accelerate humanity into a uh, more, I don't even remember. <laughs> Look bad on me. Hang on. Hang on. Everybody, hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Everybody, shut up. 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 Hang on. Shut up. Shut up. You're 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 not listening to me. That's his mission statement. Hang on. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Tesla's mission, Mark two seven zero two, is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Boom. That is the idea. That's the idea behind it, and that's what I was here to- <laughs> That's- or that's what I like. <laughs> Mark 2702. Hey, referral link down in the comments- the description below. You get perks. You get perks. You get six months of free supercharging, or a five-year extended warranty. Alright, so, let me give you a little backstory. Backstory is not gonna help the situation, but a backstory will help you understand. Mark, Mark 2702. I started out by test driving a Tesla back in Cincinnati. I was just went on a whim. Like Amy was with me and, and Amy and I, we went to the Tesla place and we we're like, yeah, you know, I've, I've heard a lot about it. You know, I just wanted to see it. And uh, when I drove it, you know, it was a nice car. It was very fast and whatever. But uh, what shocked me was the ability for it to drive itself. That blew my fucking mind. Like just completely, I was floored. 
I was just completely stunned by it. I mean, I like the concept of electric cars and I like the concept of, you know, moving towards more sustainable energy and I like that. But from a technological standpoint, that's what really impressed me about the car. And the idea behind that kind of really motivated me to give it a try. So either way, when I got back to LA, I wanted to really have that car. I wanted it, I really wanted it. And it was at a point where I could afford it. It wasn't that I needed it, but it was, I, I spent so few things that I actually wanted that I was like, I, I want to see what it's like. So in 2016, I bought myself a Tesla, a Model S, and it was great. Like the buying process was not great. Now you guys probably might know if you've seen a few videos of mine, I've been very critical about Tesla because from a customer service standpoint, they have been very bad in the past, but they have gotten better. And that's why at this point in time, I am so super happy to own a Model X now, which I upgraded to about a year ago. And uh, cause also I can take road trips with it with my dog. I've gone to from LA to Cincinnati uh, last year when I first got it. And I'm gonna do it again with uh, Chica and Henry and Amy, we're all going to pile in the car and we're going to go to Cincinnati. And it was just a really nice car. The charging stops didn't make that big of a difference. They were superchargers along the whole way. Every time we stopped, we stopped for about 45 minutes. We were able to give the dogs a nice walk. We were able to enjoy ourselves. We were able to take our time with the trip. It did add more time, but it was still a nice drive. So with that being said, what, I, what I'm trying to say about this, this isn't entirely selfishly motivated. This video is not... This video is not Mark 2702. This video is not selfishly motivated. This video is talking about what Tesla is and what it, what it represents and what it wants. And, and I think it's really cool to see this kind of thing come out of a field where no one really thought it was gonna be coming out of. And it, it's cool because it made electric vehicles cool. Whereas like electric vehicles weren't very interesting. They weren't very ambitious. They weren't very well received. But then when Tesla came along, like suddenly these cars became very, very, very cool. They were very fast, they were sleek, they were nicely designed, and they were packed with technology. And that's really enticing to some guy like me that's addictive to technology. I love tech. Like I read up on tech every day. I'm a huge tech nerd. That's pretty much all I do in my spare time. So what I'm saying is if you want a free <laughs> roadster. Ugh. If you want a free roadster, all you gotta do is buy a car and then you can set your referral link. This sounds like a pyramid scheme. It is not. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get through this. This just makes the theme a lot more disingenuous the more I laugh about it, but hang on. Okay, so if you, answering the, this title is not clickbait. It's not because I'm answering the question of what the title said. If you want a free roadster, all you gotta do is buy a Tesla, you can get a Model 3 now, they're available, they're not too terribly overpriced, and you can use your referral link after that to recruit 50 people to also buy a Tesla, and then you would get a free roadster. Boom! <laughs> clickbait abolished. Get out of here, clickbait. Not even worth your time anymore. I'm not clickbaiting. There's no clickbait here. There ain't clickbait for nobody. I'm a man of honor. I'm a man of respect. <laughs> I'm a Mark 7027, Mark 2702. I am a man. Okay, so if, 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 not saying it's gonna happen, if by some weird imagination, I did get some people to click on the link down there, the, the Mark 2702 code, you know, if people did, I and they maybe bought some, and maybe, just maybe, I got a free roadster out of the deal. Maybe. Mark 2702. Maybe. Maybe. God, I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry! I apologize for nothing because I'm doing no wrong! This is not anything. Listen, listen to me. Okay, so if the stars aligned, <laughs> the wallets opened, and some people decided to use Mark 2702, the referral code, Mark 2702, in their order, Mark 2702. If people did that, Mark 2702, then whenever or if ever I were to get a free roadster, I would use that for the community because I would consider it a communal effort for getting me that roadster. I would consider it a concerted effort by everybody involved and all parties and I would say that was our roadster. 
It's technically mine. <laughs> it's technically mine, but I would say publicly that it's our Roadster. And I would create a service, maybe. I would, cr Mark 2702, I would create a service, much like Uber. It's a ride sharing service where if you're subscribed to my channel and I'd create an app that would make it so that it would check to see if you were subscribed to my channel. Only then could you order a ride, and if I'm anywhere within two miles of your location, I would pick you up and give you a short two-minute ride in the Community Roadster. Sounds pretty good, right? It's like a great deal. I'm such a generous man. I'm a hero. Not all heroes wear capes. Some have Roadsters. Not all heroes wear capes. Some have Roadsters. Think about that. Mark 2702. Okay, so imagine, um, just for a moment, use your magic. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. You're not supposed to see this. Close your eyes. Shoop. Now listen. Listen closely. Imagine we're all enjoying, all of us enjoying the community roadster that we all have, Mark 2702. Imagine that there's an app on your phone that appears suddenly, out of nowhere, almost inconspicuously. But you look at your phone and you see this app and you see the wondrous logo that I'm going to build. Hang on. But open your eyes. Whoop. Okay, so Ube, ignore Ube. We're just gonna take the we're gonna we're gonna design design an app here real quick. Hang on. That looks good. Okay, so you know how Uber was before? Um much like my icon. It's gonna have a red background, okay? Gonna put this like this, and then get ready for Marka Uber. That is, I made the McDonald's logo. <laughs> I just made the McDonald's logo. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Get ready for Uber. Markiplier's Uber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you look down on your phone and you see this icon appeared magically on your phone. <laughs> it's, um, it's, uh, hang on. And then it changes. It's Mark 2702. Okay, so. <laughs> so, yes, this app appears on your phone. I liked it better when it was McDonald's. No, I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, uh, that looks like Z's. Okay, these are not Z's. There we go. Mark 2702. So this app appears on your phone. When it appears, you know that I'm within two miles. You better click that button fast, though, because the roadster's real quick. So it'll, I'll be gone, like, in no time. It's got, like, 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. It's, it's fast as hell. It is fucking fast. Okay, but, it, okay, all right. Everyone, for a second there. Listen in all honesty. I... Personally, all jokes aside, I actually really like Tesla, but it's not just about liking it for the sake of the car. I like what they're doing. I like what they've done. I like their mission statement. I like how they think of the future. I like how they push things along. I'm not super big into hero worship, so I'm not really talking about Elon Musk specifically, but I like what Tesla has done. And I like what Elon Musk's company has done as well. I kind of like what Elon Musk has done. But this is more about just my experience with Tesla. It's a great car. The customer service has come a long way. I have a lot of grievances in the past with Tesla and how to order their cars and what the customer service problem was with that. And, and they've worked very hard to fix those problems. It's a great car, then, and it kind of gives you this idea of how the future is going to look. Because in 30 years, like gasoline engine cars are going to be the relics. People are still going to have them. People are still going to have gas cars, but they are going to be the relics. Electric cars are kind of the future. I'm not saying that it's better to have an electric car than a gas car, but right now Tesla is like changing the game when it comes to cars. And it's changing the game when it comes to people's perception of renewable technology, of alternative power sources, of different ways that you can have what you want, but in a different form. Like, people want fast cars. If you want faster than gas can do, electric's the only way to go. 
So it's just a really fascinating way to look at the future. And the Model 3 is a cool thing because the Model 3 allows accessibility for it. Now it's still not too, <laughs> it's not exactly affordable, but when it comes down to what it's going to be, it is surprisingly more affordable than you would think to get a Model 3 at a very low, low setting. This isn't even the standard battery. The standard battery is not gonna be available for a while. This is going to be like, uh, the standard battery is gonna be even lower. Now this is, this price is with tax savings and like gas savings included but you can kind of get a picture that the future is moving towards this. The future is moving towards this. Like that's what it's going for. And it's really cool what Tesla has done to bring it about. And I'm just proud to have had a Tesla for as long as I had. I'm, I'm not exactly an early adopter, but I am one of the earlier adopters. I had the Model S before they got this new nose cone. I had the first version of the autopilot system. I've had the second version of the autopilot system. I've done many, many miles of driving on both of them. I've used supercharging. I've done long road trips. And I can honestly say, my car is my favorite thing I've ever bought. But that's not the point of this video. The point is to use my referral link in the description below. Get yourself a free Roadster. You can do it today, but you got to get a car first. So on your way to getting yourself a free Roadster, why not you go, when you're buying your first one, use Mark 2702, the referral link down in the description below to check it out. And maybe you don't know what a Roadster is all about. Here it is. That's the one. That's the baby. Here we go. There's the stats. All that shit. Yada, yada, yada. Boobity, boobity. Here's some more stats. I don't know what these mean. These are probably pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like this, designed for aero. I like that, I like arrows. It's a good show. Got a removable top. Got this guy, there's that guy. They, they tweeted out a video just recently about it. May or may not have got me thinking about this. <laughs> may or may not. Hey, wait, I gotta like this tweet. This is a good tweet. No, not that tweet, that's a different tweet. I did a stream of uh, oxygen not included on Twitch. There it is. There's good. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> if you don't understand this, you obviously weren't watching the stream. <laughs> okay, it was this video. Yeah. Okay, so context. This is the video of people in the Roadster as it launches from zero to 60 for the first time at the announcement. It's a, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a speed junkie. I'm not a gearhead. I'm not a motorhead. I'm not a car guy, but you know, if, if, if a roadster just happened to fall in my lap, I would never buy one. I would never buy one. I would never buy one. I would never buy one because of this. I would never buy, <laughs> I would never buy one. But if it just so happened to rain down from the sky and fall in my lap, and then it could be our <laughs> roadster, that'd be fine. That that'd be fine. I I just I could never see myself actually buying one because it seems like an incredibly impractical thing. But that being said, Mark 2702, if you're already on the way, like if you're going out to get groceries, can you pick me up some milk and also a Tesla and then use Mark 2702? to is your referral code. Hey, where are you going? Hey, come back. Bottom line, yes, you can get a free Tesla Roadster. It is really fucking hard. It is not something that everyone can do, but technically, I think there is a way to get a free Tesla Roadster. Maybe that's not even a thing anymore. I bet, I bet, you know what? I bet there's going to be people in the comments that are like, that promotion is gone. <laughs> and I'm just flapping my gums up here for nothing, for something. I am not a sellout. I believe in the mission state of Tesla. I've got it tattooed on my boob. I've got it tattooed right here. To accelerate humanity, the mission, to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. That's my mission statement. I got it tattooed right in between my butt cheeks. I've got it there. It's permanent, permanent ink, permanent tattoo. So to summarize, you can get a free, free Tesla Roadster 
but first you have to actually have a Tesla, so I guess it's not actually free, so this video is a lie, so I'm a goddamn liar. I lied. No! I'm clickbait. I am not clickbait. If you have one, it's free. I think that still technically qualifies as free, if, if, but if you don't have one, then it's not free, because then you have to... Oh, God, no! All right. Mark 2702. I'm not a clickbaiter. <laughs> I promise I'm not. And maybe this promotion isn't even here to begin with. So maybe I'm a clickbaiter and maybe I'm a liar. But God damn it, Mark 2702! So if you have a Tesla, you can still you can still get a free the roadster it's I, it's a technicality. Okay, the roadster itself is still free. Maybe if the promotion even still exists, but the Tesla roadster is still free because it doesn't matter if you have to buy something else before it. The roadster is still free. Boom! No clickbait, baby. Put that on the gravestone. No clickbait. No clickbait Markiplier. He never clickbaited not once, never no way. Mark 2702, right at the bottom of the gravestone down there. But yes! <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so... <laughs> I guess I'll end this one here. I guess I'll end this one here. So, I hope I've answered your questions for you. I hope I've raised a lot more questions uh, in, in regards to everything else in my life. But yeah, that is how you do that. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And, uh... Mark 2702, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Mark 2702, bye-bye! Mark 2702.